Hi friends today we are going to discuss about food chain types of food chain along with we are going to discuss about two channel energy flow model or it also called as y shaped energy flow model so what is food chain food chain means it is the graphical representation of organism where organism being eaten or being eaten right where organism being eaten or being eaten it also defined as like the transfer of energy and material the transfer of energy and material from one trophic level to another trophic level from producer level to consumer level from consumer level to decomposer level or apex consumer level right so here what is food chain what do we mean by food chain here food chain means the flow of energy in an ecosystem is one way process the flow of energy from producer to consumer level from consumer to secondary consumer level from secondary consumer to tertiary consumer level that is all unidirectional process the sequence of organism through which energy flows is known as food chain here it is the graphical representation of organism where one organism being eating or being eaten right here the uh, the solar energy which comes from sun that is captured by the green plant or photosynthetic autotroph here producer the energy from producer or the producer that is uh, photosynthetic autotroph plant that is eaten by maybe grasshopper so from grasshopper the energy transport to the uh, frog right from frog the energy transport to the eagle because the eagle finally eats to the frog right this is the example of one type of food chain now we are go going to discuss about types of food chain now we are going to discuss about types of food chain there are basically two types of food chain one is grazing food chain another one is dead eaters food chain okay generally there are two types of food chain grazing food chain and dead eaters food chain there are also a parasitic food chain but basically there are two types of food chain that is grazing food chain and dead eaters food chain here example of grazing food chain is here the primary source is grass or grasses the grasses eaten by rabbit and rabbit eaten by fox and fox then after eaten by lion it here the primary producer that is grasses so it is grazing it comes under grazing food chain for the in case of detritus food chain the it start with soil so from soil energy transport to the earthworms earthworm eats the uh, dead and decaying material right earthworm eaten by rat and rat again eaten by snake and snake finally eaten by eagle it it is the detritus food chain or we can call it as saprophytic food chain so types of food chain i told you before that there are two types of food chain one is grazing food chain and another one is saprophytic food chain or detritus food chain right in case of grazing food chain here it is written that the consumer utilizes plant as their food constitute grazing food chain in case of grazing food chain the the uh, the producer is always plant plant is the producer and plant eaten by herbivores right this food chain begins from green plants green plant do photosynthesis right and the by they are photosynthetic autotroph right so they do photosynthesis and this plant eaten by primary consumer that is herbivores right most of the ecosystem in nature follow this type of food chain in generally most of the ecosystem have grazing food chain here example of grazing food chain is grass eaten by grasshopper and grass grasshopper 
then after written by birds and birds written by falcon right here another example of grazing food chain here the producer is the plant or you can say flower right the flower eaten by primary consumer that is caterpillar the caterpillar then after eaten by frog that is secondary consumer frog eaten by snake that is tertiary consumer the snake then after eaten by wool that is quaternary consumer right so this is the small example of grazing food chain now we are move forward to detritus food chain what is detritus food chain here it is written that this type of food chain start from dead organic matter here the food chain starts with dead organic matter right here food chain start with dead decaying matter dead organic matter not as like in case of grazing food chain that is plants right here the uh, food chain start with dead and decaying organic matter this dead de and decaying organic matter then after eaten by detritivorous detritivorous here the dead organic matter eaten by detritivorous here the food the mode of intake of detritivorous is by ingestion right the only difference between detritivorous food chain and parasitic food chain is mode of intake that means the mode of intake here in case of detritus food chain is by ingestion right but in case of parasit parasitic food chain the mode of ingestion is by absorption right so here it is written the, uh, this type of food chain starts from dead organic matter of decaying animals and plant bodies to the microorganisms and then detritus feeding organism to the other predators right the food chain depends mainly on the influx of organic matter into in another ecosystem the organisms of the food chain includes algae bacteria fungi fungus protozoa insect nematodes here the detrit in case of detritus food chain the organisms like algae bacteria fungi protozoa insects nematodes they come they they take parts in detritus food chain right okay here this is the graphical representation of detritus food chain here the producer is always dead and decaying organic matter right this dead organic matter then after eaten by detritivorous who eat dead and decay organic matter right and convert to dead organic matter into inorganic nutrient we know that every ecosystems are interacting interdependent complex every ecosystems are interlinked and interdependent right likewise here also both the grazing food chain and detritus food chain are interdependent they are linked each other if they are linked each other if they are interdependent each other then the then this model is known as two channel energy flow model two channel energy flow model here detritus food chain and grazing food chain are depends upon each other okay two channel energy flow model says that the grazing food chain and detritus food chain they are interdependent and they are linked to each other 
Whereas, if both are not interdependent, then we can call it as one channel energy flow model. In case of one channel energy flow model, it says that both the grazing, both grazing food chain and detritus food chain they are independent each other they are independently in isolated condition they work independently in isolated condition that is detritus food chain are works independently and grazing food chain also works independently in isolated condition right two channel energy flow model says that both detritus food chain and grazing food chain interdependent interdependent each other whereas one channel energy flow model says that detritus food chain and grazing food chain are independently as independent in isolated condition right they are not interdependent to each other so now we are going to discuss about two channel energy flow model here this is the two channel energy flow model it is also called as y shaped model it is also called as y shaped model because it looks like english alphabet y right here we know that sun is the ultimate source of energy sunlight is the ultimate source of energy because it gives solar energy right the solar energy captured by plant so sun is the source and sink is the plant because it captures energy sun is the source and plant the sink right okay from plant plant can be eaten by herbivores right or primary consumer or herbivores the herbivores then after eaten by secondary consumers or carnivores right it comes under grazing food chain okay but that plant if suppose that plant dies then the dead organic matter of that plant may be eaten by may be eaten by detritivorous consumer we can call detritus consumer right that dead part of that plant may be eaten by detritivorous or detritus consumer the detritivorous then after eaten by detritivorous consumer right so this comes under detritus food chain and the grazing food chain and detritus food chain both are interlinked and interdependent in this way they are interlinked i am saying you, you just look at it the herbivores of grazing food chain if it dies then the dead body of that herbivores may be eaten by detritivorous consumer right of detritus food chain likewise if the detritivorous or detritus feeder if dies may be eaten by secondary consumer of grazing food chain right so in this way they are interlinked each other and it looks like a y shaped structure of english alphabet so it is called as two channel energy flow model or y shaped model it looks like y shaped structure of english alphabet so it is called as y shaped model or two channel energy flow model thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to this channel and please hit the bell icon thank you so much